Welcome back. We are here in Gatlinburg this weekend for a Rocky Top weekend. Hope you're enjoying the show. Now there are a lot of wonderful shows to see while you're up here, but I want you to make sure you come by and see this theater, the Miracle Theater. They are doing a great production on the life and work of Jesus. I know you're going to love it. I want to show you why. <laughs> Sixth season. We've been blessed to be here for six years. We started in 2006 uh, with the miracle, the show that uh, uh, that bears the name of the theater itself. It's the story of Jesus Christ. Um, and uh, just this past year, we actually added a second show uh, to the building here called Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, and so currently, we actually house both shows here. Each day, we perform uh, both shows. So it's, and the cast from, from uh, the miracle is also the cast of Joseph. So they have a long day ahead of them. They have to change hats a lot and uh, do different roles. But um, uh, the, the, I guess the bread and butter of the theater is the miracle. hope that they leave this place understanding Jesus and what he did just a little bit better than they might have before. We've all read the story, we've seen the different movies, but hopefully they understand a little more about the relationship side. I think a lot of people kind of saw him as this kind of being that came through, uh, not thinking about the fact that he really just came through to love on everybody. And so I want people to understand that that's what Jesus is about, is that he's loving on people and he's about a relationship, not about just coming in and giving them rules and guidelines. So I hope they understand that better after they leave here. The Miracle, at the Miracle Theater in Pigeon Forge. What type of king would come as a baby? Is this the chosen one? I'm thinking maybe this is God's own song. A lot of the, the characters that I've played in the past and in other shows have been uh, either the troubled teen or the, uh, you know, the bad guy. And so I kind of have just grown into that, you know, to be typed as doing these type of roles. And I don't know if it's my look or if it's just my ease of doing that, you know. Um, but, you know, I, I welcome the challenge, and, and I will have to say it definitely has been the, the guiding of the Holy Spirit every day in, in prayer and asking him, you know, people perceive this story a lot of different ways. Even when they're reading the Bible, when they're watching it, they're going to perceive it different ways. And, you know, I ask God to, to guide me, and, and uh, even though I have the basic template of my blocking that I stay within, I still, maybe every day, it's a little different as far as how I... Uh, come to the character.
the miracle at the Miracle Theater in Pigeon Forge. I try to sympathize with lost people because, yes, she's deaf and she doesn't need a miracle, but she's also lost and she's, um, she doesn't know the love of God and the love of Jesus. Um, so that's what I try to bring. I try to remember how I was when, before I was saved. And I'm very fortunate. I was saved at an early age. But, um, you know, my husband wasn't. Most people I know weren't. So I try to portray that as much as possible and reach somebody, you know touch somebody. Every time before I go on stage, I have to pray. <laughs> I pray that God will, A, give me the notes, because they're really high, and B, that he will sing through me, and, you know, in my actions, and in my words, and in my singing, and use me, even if it's just to touch one person, that he will do that, and that he'll show up, and I'll feel his presence, and, and the people on the stage will feel his presence as well, and I hope, I hope they have. I feel, I feel like he's always there, but... production about the life and work of our Jesus. I want you to come when you're here in Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg. I want to make sure you come by and see this wonderful production right here in the Miracle Theater in Pigeon Forge. Go on the internet, find the information, and bring your church group up to see it. You will be blessed. Music